Good morning. Hi, Adam. The time is 12.09 p.m. Currently in North Bay, it's 2 degrees and mostly sunny. Today, it'll be mostly sunny with a forecasted high of 4 and a low of 1. On your way to work, there's the usual traffic. The route via Trout Lake Road, Ontario 63 South and Castle Street is the fastest. It is 8 minutes by car. Have a nice day. Oh, well, that's... That's... That's way too intrusive. That's way too intrusive, right? Holy... Is this thing stalking me while I go to work? Is that what's happening right now? Anybody else catch that? Like she knows the path I drive? Okay. I'll let it go. You better never catch her in my truck. Just saying. Anyway, I'm having a coffee. Like I said last night, I was going to the corner store to pick up some creamer. And I did. And now I'm having it. And it's damn, damn, damn good. I'm also microwaving some shredded chicken nonsense that I made the other night. Figured I'm going to eat when I get up. <sighs> and then just go all day without eating. Like, go mad. You know... The old mad rule, one meal a day. Yeah, gonna do that. Should be good. Throat still hurts. I don't know, it's like right up here. Almost feels like a swollen gland though. I don't know. I hope it's gone by the weekend because I want to do some fun shit this weekend. I don't want to just sit in the house and be like, I'm sick, I can't go out anywhere. I only have two days off this week, man. No, I want to actually like go out and do stuff. I want to have some fun. I guess I'll we'll have to wait and see what happens there. Yep, yep. Well, I decided to microwave the rest of that chicken right now, but uh, I think I got a grumpy on deck, so I'm gonna go and drive this. Actually, I got a grumpy on deck. I might as well vape. Yeah, that sounds funny, eh? Vape while I poop. Then I just like the vape while I poop. Because then it doesn't smell like wrecked arsal in there the whole time. It smells like wrecked arsal and pineapple. Anyway, I'm gonna go and drop my guts off at the swimming pool. Yay, vlogging about pooping. It's like old Adam's back, eh, boys? Uh, I'm just gonna fire up this microwave one more time for another. Sure. All right, burp. Well, turns out it wasn't a poop. It was just a fart with some serious long duration to it. Yup. Dude, I just dropped ass and it wasn't even solid. It was just like a 10 second fart that I wish I would have caught on video. <sighs> That's upsetting. It was good though. It's good though. It's like a bar. But it was like in the toilet bowl, so like it sounded awesome. I just spilled some of the juice from my chicken on me and it's freaking warm. All right. Well, I'm gonna drive this in my face, see what's going on on the YouTubes, and go from there. All right. All right. Peace. Man, I don't understand why YouTube is so slow. Okay, I go over here. I got a link on the top where I click on it and it brings me to my video feed. And I click on it, and look at how long it takes just to cut over. And then it sits here for a bit, and then finally farts out the videos. Like, why? Why is it so, so god-awful slow? I don't get it. Like, YouTube, spend some money on some bandwidth or something, maybe? I don't know. I don't know, but... It never used to be this slow, and I thought maybe it was something to do with the computer, because I was on the old XPS 8300. And it was this slow. And then I got this new rig. And it's still slow. Tried it on the gaming rig. Still slow. Maybe it's Chrome. Anyway, last night I said I was going to do some commenting on comments. But I decided not to. Because uh, I wanted to get the bed at a decent hour. And I did. And then uh, today I'm going to do some commenting on comments. But not before I make another one of these damn things. Because I want another coffee. I think, oh my god kitty cat, stop it. <laughs> She's just murping away. I think tonight might be uh, a not workout night. Maybe I'll just take it easy tonight, come home, get the bed at a decent hour and try and kill whatever's inside of me that's trying to take over. Because I'm really not feeling too freaking hot, people. The joys of working at a, at a location where everybody's got kids. Because let me tell you, kids are great and all, but they're pretty gross at the same time, right? Like, you gotta fight them to wash their hands. You gotta fight them to take a bath. You gotta just fight them just to not be cesspools of germs. Then they go to school and they're all like playing together and stuff and sharing the disease and all that fun stuff. And then they come home and get the adults sick. Then the adults go to work and get the non-parented 
people sick and she goes in there and she eats Oreo's food and then Oreo has no food. My cat is such a dickhead. Yeah, I'm talking about you, you little dickhead. Why do you gotta mess with the dog all the time? What's the matter with you? I don't get it. Stupid dickhead. My guys, uh... As you can see, there's still snow on the ground, but look at that sun out today. And guess what tomorrow's gonna be? Tomorrow they're calling for rain at 10 degrees Celsius, which means all this nonsense that we see outside is gonna be gone. Tomorrow is also Halloween. Today is Devil's Night. Today is the night where people go around egging houses and causing problems. But it doesn't really happen very often anymore because a lot of people just stay at home, play on their smartphones. It works for me. Doesn't she look like a raccoon? Doesn't she look like a little raccoon? She's such a weirdo. Troublesome little weirdo, but a weirdo nonetheless. Well, she didn't damage the seat on the bow flex, so I guess she can still live here. Oh, where's that creamer? Given need coffee big times. Man, that Keurig just sounds like it wants to explode already. Tomorrow I'm expecting an Amazon delivery. A while back I ordered a thing from Amazon. Um, it was a pre-order for the Fire Stick 4K. And I forgot that I bought it. And I got an email saying that it's been shipped. And I'm like, oh yeah, I bought one of those. It was when, um, what the hell did I order from Amazon at the time? I have no idea what the heck I ordered at the time. Um, but I finally put in the order for those angled USB cables because I need those and uh, that phantom power for the uh, That mic my buddy loaned me or gave me or whatever I want to give that a go on the gaming rig or actually probably on my main rig and use it for uh, Stuff and junk because I figure it'll be good for doing voiceovers or just whatever Anyway, I got some comments to comment on I'm gonna do that now, and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. Alrighty, people. Comments are commented. Coffee is being drunk, or drank, or drinking. I don't like using the term drunk. It makes it sound like I got into something I shouldn't have. But I can tell you I didn't. Mm. Focus is a little quicker. I fixed the th uh, setting on the camera, so it makes it a little quicker. I just gotta hesitate between going from here to, hey guys, how's it going? Just gotta, you know, let it do its thing, cause there ain't no thing like a chicken wing. And then we're good to go. Uh, I got my Fitbit back on. I had a charge in there on the guy. I had to reboot my phone because I couldn't get into my Fitbit app. I wanted to document the fact that I uh, ate that chicken, but I couldn't open any apps on my phone, which was pretty freaking weird. I don't understand it. So far today, I've already climbed six floors. How many did I do yesterday? 24 floors. Yeah, I take the stairs at work for obvious reasons, cause, uh, Getting trapped in an elevator twice in one year at the same location. Two separate elevators. What was that? Why did I just add a J... What? Why was there a JPEG just added to my Dropbox? Okay, why is there files being added to my Dropbox? Keska Frig. What is this directory? What's going on? I got a whole directory here of pictures of me blowing cloud... Oh my god, my cell phone is uploading all of its content. Why is it doing that? My cell phone is literally dumping all of my pictures from it into my Dropbox. Oh, that's why these pictures look familiar, but I didn't take them. All these pictures, okay. Ah, I like this one. Yeah. I like that picture of Oreo looking all poofy and floppy like a little teddy bear. I like it, but uh, no, there's, okay, you know what? That's gotta stop, that's, you gotta shut up over here. Uh, where's that notification nonsense? Is there a way to tell this here to... Thank you. I really hate the notification center on friggin' Windows 10 because it just doesn't shut up. But uh, no, every time I receive, like every time I'm on uh, uh, Facebook Messenger and somebody sends me a picture, my phone stores it. So I use Facebook Messenger instead of text messaging on my phone just because I can set up my computer. Even though there is that messenger.android thing where you can link your phone to your chrome or to you to a browser thing and you can text from your phone using your pc i still prefer to use messenger because a lot of the people i chat with are not local canadians like my buddy church and you know the people that we used to hang out with back in the day when we gamed and you know i just got a 
a couple friends in England, a couple friends in Australia, a couple friends in Vietnam. So it's like texting them would just end up costing me more money than it's possible, right? So Messenger opens that up, but every time somebody sends me a picture on Messenger, it gets stored on the phone and literally my phone is dumping every single last one of those images into my Dropbox right now. And I don't know why, but the whole reason why I wanted to reboot the phone was so I could go into the Fitbit app and add that, that chicken because where the heck is that? There it is. Uh, log this. Done. So far today we've had 269 calories in, 270 calories in. Why did that just go up a calorie? Whatever, probably round it up. And last night we drank a 52 ounce pitcher of water. I haven't been logging my water properly, but luckily the only thing I really care about this app for is how many calories are going in, how many calories are going out. Anything else is pure extra. So, like I said, tonight I'm probably not going to work out. I got to figure out what the hell's going on with this. I got to heal. I got to get myself feeling better. I got to be back on par. I got some lozenges at work. I bought some out of the vending machine last night. Holy crap, do they gouge you guys. Like at the corner store, uh, a brick or a stick or whatever the hell you want to call it of halls, like where you get like, you know, 10 halls or 8 halls or whatever it may be. Hall's cough drops. Uh, I don't think they're just Canadian. They got to have them in the Americas too. But, you know, you go to the corner store and there may be 99 cents or, or maybe two bucks tops for a stick. The vending machine at work, four freaking dollars for a stick of Hall's. And they got two flavors, red and black. I always get the black one because the black one is so like menthol-y and eucalyptus -y and just like, it's like they took Buckley's cough syrup, solidified it into a cough drop and sent it out to go. Tastes like ass, but it works and it helped. Uh, I didn't do any aloe vera juice today. I'll probably do that tonight. I should do it today though so that while I'm at work, when it comes time for lunch, I can just destroy the bathroom there because... That's more fun than destroying my bathroom, let me tell you. That's ridiculous, but I got some lozenges at work. I got some uh, stuff here for at home. I'm hoping to have this thing gone by the weekend because, you know, there's talks of going to play pool or talks of just doing more karaoke's or, you know, I only got two days off on the weekend. And then next week's a weird one for me. Um, I picked up some extra shifts because normally like before on my day shifts when I work days Monday to Friday or from 3 to 7 That was my busy week. That was my 51 hour week now on this new shift It's my 24 hour week, which ends up becoming like 22 hour week, which really sucks what ends up happening is on uh, Normally Monday Tuesday. I would work 8 a.m. To noon 8 a.m. To noon and then I'd be off Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then i go on Saturday, Sunday from 4 to midnight, or for a 4 minute, come on brain, 8 to 4, 8 to 4. And then Monday I go in from 8 a.m. to noon, and then I'm off Tuesday, Wednesday, then I go back in for my night run. What I ended up doing was there was a guy who needed time off because he booked a hotel, him and his old lady are going to do some whatever, never asked, didn't care. He just told me he booked a hotel. That's all the information I cared to know because I really didn't care. He was looking for somebody to take his Tuesday, Wednesday shift. He works 3 to 11, AKA cleanup crew. And he needed somebody to cover for him. So I asked the boss, I'm like, do you really need me to come in for four hours in the morning? Are you sure you don't have enough coverage? Because I would like to help this guy out. And instead of getting four hours, now I'm gonna get 16. So it's an extra 12. And he's like, you know what? Yeah, do that. So uh, next week I work Monday from useless eight to noon, Tuesday, three to 11, Wednesday, three to 11, off Thursday, Friday, then work Saturday, eight to four, Sunday, eight to four, and then Monday, eight to noon. Should be a good time, should be a good time. So it kind of sucks on this new shift because like on, on the old shift, you'd have that 51 hour week and then you'd have the next week would be 24 hours and then 21 hours, and then 36 hours. So when you work nights, that was your worst payday. On this shift, your best payday is when you work nights, the first week of nights. So when you work that four hours on Monday, actually it might be eight hours on Monday now because it's gonna be a holiday, it's Remembrance Day in Canada, but so it might be eight hours. They might have me in eight to four just to help cover in case, uh, you know, crap hits the fan 
and they need backup. I don't know who I'm working with on that Monday though. I'm on days, who's on? No, I'm oh, I'm working with the other two knuckleheads. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I'm not. Who am I working with? I'm working with my old team. Yeah, I'll be working with my old team. That'll be interesting. I haven't worked with them guys in a while, but whatever, it is what it is. Uh, if it'll be eight hours, a tax and a half, and then I'll work Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Uh, that week is usually about 34 hours. It ends up coming down to like 30 hours a week versus 33 from before. Uh, this is the reason why I opted in and I asked my boss to go back to days and I told him I said Hey, if you ever get the opportunity to put one of these new guys on and you want to take somebody off Let me know. I'd rather go back to days and he told me he's like well Your hours would probably get cut. You'd probably get anywhere from 29 to 33 hours and I'm thinking 29 hours is one hour less than I get now. I would be working Monday to Thursday at 29 hours which okay, whatever um, I would literally lose one hour of pay a week, but I would be able to do a routine. I'd be able to wake up in the morning at every time, the same time every day, go to work every time, the same time every day, come home, get into a routine when I'm home, like do a workout or whatever, have dinner, relax, go to bed, rinse and repeat. I could live a normal freaking life. And every weekend off, every holiday off, no more working overtime and getting screwed over by the government on tax and a half. I can't see a flaw in this. You know, I put in my time on, on the after hours. We got a whole bunch of new guys in the office. And the thing is, is with this job, guys, I learned more on after hours than I ever could have learned just sitting there doing nine to five. Because the problem is, is when I was on the nine to five, every time I ran into a snag, because there's two ways to fix the th a problem. There's my way, which works, but it's against the regulations because it doesn't follow what they want. And then there's their way, which is a little bit long of a process. Works, but my way is quicker. So my problem is, is when I worked nine to five back in the day, I'd be nonstop bugging people for fixes. Like, okay, this is what I want to do, but how can I do? Like, I would just always be asking in the chat room, always be asking my surrounding people, like, what would you do for this here? This is what I want to do, but I know I'm going to get a slap on the wrist if I do it this way. What should I do? Blah, blah, blah. And then people would clue me in and I wouldn't really, I, I'd learn, but I wouldn't really learn. You know what I mean? Like, like I, but now that I'm on the night shift and there's nobody else to ask, there's been nobody for a year. So I got to learn this stuff on my own. This is where you grow. And a lot of these chuckleheads on, on the day shift right now, a lot of the new chuckleheads, could really benefit from the night shift because that's where you either grow or go. This is where you, you either make or break, right? This is where you become king or peasant. And I pretty much learned all I can on night shifts. I think I need to go back to day. Are you kidding me? Did she just like beat my score again? What? What score was that? Oh no, that's the weekly high score. We're playing this stupid basketball game on Facebook. Probably hearing it in the background. Check this out. Skivens with the swish. Skivens with the swish. Oh, but I still own the big score here. 31 points and 7 throws. I won the tournament. I'm better. <laughs> oh, man. But, no, that's what I'm saying. Like, it'd be nice to get off of the night shift. Get back on days. Get into a routine. Like this every week waking up at a different hour, having a different schedule, having to adapt and all that. Anybody who's done shift work can agree. It does something to your physiology. Like I've been losing weight and I've been feeling pretty good. But after a while it just kind of burns you out and you just want some sort of a normality. And I understand that like the nine to five jobs are a thing of the past and that's been ruined because everybody wants service 24 seven now. So we got to give them what they want but in my defense, there's a bunch of new guys that could benefit from the kind of training that I received. And a lot of them did get the after hours training. It's just they're trying to use bullshit excuses like I have kids or I'm married so I can't do it. My wife would leave me. It's like if your wife likes the paycheck you bring home, then she probably shouldn't leave you. And... Like I said, like I going to days, I would get anywhere from 29 to 33. Now, 
being the kind of employee that I am where I'm good, I'm fast, I'm efficient, I'm handling more volume than a lot of them there, I'd probably be in the same group as another guy I work with where he works Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then half day Friday. So that means he goes in from 8 a.m. till noon on Friday and then he's out, giving him the full 33 hours a week. Uh, if they did that for me, hey, you know what? That'd be sweet. That'd be a nice chunk of change at the end of the week. Um, I'd basically be making the same amount as I was making at Ontario every two weeks. Life would be good. I could easily do that. And the best part is, I'd be off every weekend. So I could plan for weekends like I used to do. I could actually get the vlogs going like I used to have them back in the day where I wake up in the morning, have my coffee, talk about stuff. Either A, do a drive to work or B, don't. Get home from work, finish off the vlog, have a good time, go to bed by around 10, 11, wake up the next day. Like if it's an eight to four, it'd probably be a nine to five. But even then, that's better. I have no problem with a nine to five. Nine to five works for me. But that's what I'm saying is like, it'd be nice to not have to do all this working every weekend and stuff it's like i'm trying to hang out with my friends and i gotta and then they got kids with like other significant others so like for instance my one friend she gets her kids every other week and on weeks when she has her kids it's weeks when i don't have time off so we can't really hang out and then on weeks when she doesn't have her kids oh shit, i gotta work so we can't hang out it's kind of a pain in the arse so it'd be nice to get some normality back into it because shift work kills you. And I'm hoping they understand that I'd like to go back to days, could do it. But the problem is, is like I said before, I'm good at my job. I can do the call volume. I can hammer down, to, like I'm one of the elites there now. So they don't want me off at nights because they need me on there because the team they put me on was notorious for having issues of not getting the job done. And the stats have shown that since I've joined the team, not only is the job getting done, but it's getting done more efficient. And the reason being is because I'm picking up a lot more of the slack. And I know a lot of you out there work in environments where you're probably doing the same. You got some lazy people on your team that just kind of sit there and don't give her. And then you're in there and because you got the work ethics, you're just giving her, you know, gun, sweat and tears trying to pick up the pace so that the job gets done so that you don't get yelled at because when the whole team fails you fail when one person on the team fails the whole team fails and it's kind of a it's kind of annoying i don't like that analogy it's like why don't you discipline the goofs that cause the failure and not the guy who's trying to pick up the slack so that we don't fail why are you on my case but welcome to this modern world we live in where Everybody's a winner or everybody's a loser, right? It's the way she goes. It's the way she goes. God, I hope I go back to days. Alrighty guys, well, it is 2.30. Time to head off to work and put in my time. Getting a good stretch right now. It feels so good. Oh yeah. But um, I'm not gonna bring the camera. I'm not gonna do a drive to work because I got nothing to talk about. What I'm gonna do though, is I'm just gonna go to work. Then I'm gonna come home. I'm gonna carry on with the vlog. I got some spit on my face because I just freaking coughed up a lung. Holy crap, I feel like I'm smoking cigarettes again with the way this hurts. Let's just go get this damn shift over with. For you guys, it's going to feel like a half a second. For me, it's going to feel like a millennium. I envy you guys. Alright, burb. Holy freak, guys, do I feel like death boiled over. Alright, so it's after work. Just got home, came upstairs to grab the camera. I didn't bring it with me, like I said. Anyway, as I was leaving, delivery guy showed up because an Amazon package was delivered. Why else would he show up? It's not like my cannabis order that I ordered on the 17th would be here. It's only, oh, 13 days late. Son of a bitch. But that's okay. Obviously that's not working, but then I just got home and another package showed up. So when I came, when I left this morning, this package was sitting in the door. And then when I got home tonight, this package was sitting in the door. Both delivered by Canada Post. So Canada Post delivered those two, but they can't get my cannabis order from OCS to be delivered. What the deuce indeed, people. Anyway. 
We're gonna bring these upstairs. I already know the little one is my uh, my 4K Amazon stick, so that's pretty sweet. Uh, the big one is uh, the Phantom Power and all that. Guys, I'm man, my dog is making some weird sounds. I'm freaking starved though, so I'm gonna throw this chicken breast in the. Uh, I'm gonna throw some meat in the air fryer and cook it and then eat it because I'm freaking starved. See, this is one of the side effects of when I get sick. That was disgusting. Did you guys hear that? That was my dog burping. Okay? He burps. You wonder where he gets it from? This guy. But anyway, as I was saying before the dog went and belched, one of the side effects of me getting sick is my hunger goes through the roof. Durr. Okay, well, while that cooks, I'm gonna durr, durr. Freaking dog. He's looking at me all durr, durr, I'm back. But uh, I'm gonna go upstairs and we're gonna crack into these prime boxes. See what the goings on is, people. See what the going ons is. All right, let's do this. All right, guys, got you on a tripod so I can have both hands free. Rip into this first prime box. The little one, which I was right, it's just my fire stick. I got one of these 4K fire sticks when they were first released. It's got that built-in Alexa stuff. Basically, I wanted it for the TV downstairs because it's a 4K TV and I have yet to watch anything in 4K on it. Ooh, bubble wraps! <laughs> That's fun! Destroying cardboard! Which reminds me, I got a bunch of cardboard behind me that's got to go out for two weeks from now. Is today Tuesday or Wednesday? I think today's Tuesday. It's gonna be Wednesday. You guys watch this, it's actually Thursday. So that's pretty cool. Um, I'll have to set this up one of these nights. Don't know what I'm gonna do with my regular fire stick, but I'll hang on to it. Maybe I'll put it out in the garage. And that way there I can have something to stream Netflix and that when I'm out there. Maybe that's what I'll use that other TV for. Now this box here, this is the one. Bought some stuff in here to life a little easier. One for this editing computer. And uh, actually I think everything in here is for this editing computer now that I think of it. What the hell did I buy? Yay, bubble wrap! All right, so first off, I bought a uh, cable here that goes from DisplayPort to DVI. The reason for that is that cable that I bought from Best Try, it works, but I, I want the HDMI port open so I can plug the TV directly into that computer instead for reasons of if I want to watch YouTube, I hate using that little remote. Second thing I got is an actual XLR cable here so that I can um, plug the mic directly into Phantom Power. Third thing I got is these guys it's a usb uh extension cable but they're angled i showed you guys how the computer doesn't quite fit underneath this desk that well because the case is big but these guys will let me plug right into the us these are usb 3 right usb 3 okay these will let me plug right into the usb 3 ports and just dangle them off so i can hook up other things that's a good thing and last but not least i bought one of these uh behringer preamp microphone input jobbies with phantom power all that stuff so that's gonna be set up probably on this computer um because i want to use it for doing voiceovers and any other sort of ad living on videos now a lot of you are probably saying oh yeah he's gonna bring back talking kitty there is a chance i could bring back talking kitty there is a chance that's all i'm saying but let's take a look inside of this package here and make sure this thing's not broken wow it's tiny yeah it's it's not a big mixer that's for sure i've been actually eyeing up one of these setups for a while i used to use the snowball the meteor the yeti for doing all that stuff but i found the problem with the snowball the meteor and the yeti is quality wasn't the greatest like it was there but it wasn't i don't know it just but this thing here it's like you know you got your your your, your mic input up here your xlr a quarter inch jack you got your lows your mids your highs your balance and then you got another option over here for something uh like you can hook up an mp3 player up top or whatever you can go analog audio out or usb audio out and USB audio in. So I can actually feed the computer's audio through here and hook this up and this this could become a sound card if I wanted to. A crappy sound card, but still a sound card. I've been wanting to do this kind of a setup for a while. When my buddy was like, hey man, I'm gonna loan you that mic. That's when I realized, you know what? Now's the time. Cause like, this is gonna be great. Be able to control the lows and the highs on the mic on the actual mixer. So if I want to make the voice deeper, less bassy, or take some treb out, or put some treb in, or pan it all the way left or right, I can do it 
pre before I do it in post. And the mic gain on it's good too. Yeah, this is pretty sweet. Little Behringer mixer. It got good reviews too, so I can't really complain. And I'm assuming, okay, this is a little power brick. Oh, Shazbot, is this thing completely powered by USB? Yeah, okay, that's interesting. Yeah, completely powered by USB. And it comes with one of these little brickies. Okay, what do you throw for wattage? Your standard 5 volt, 500 milliamp hours? Yup. So how the heck, if this is a 48 volt phantom power, yes, 48 volt preamp, how do you do that? If you're 48 volts, what's your amperage? Like, a mega joke? I don't know, people. All I do know is, is I won't be setting that up tonight, because I am super not feeling that right now. But uh, that's pretty cool. So we got the mixer right on. Um, that's gonna go over here-ish somewheres. Put the wire with it. Uh, these USB cables, these here will go into the computer right now. I needs them. I wants them. I gots to has them. This here will go with the mic because it's that cable. And I will set up this monitor another day. Well, that didn't work out. I'll set up this monitor cable another day. And this fire stick will go downstairs to be used on the television down there, which is the only 4K display I have in this entire household. Go ahead. Oh, geez, I forgot. These USB ports are weird. Okay. All right, I'm going to go ahead and do this, guys, and I'll chime back in in a bit. Bon appetit. It's all about the meat. Anyway, guys, this vlog is a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. And yeah, I had to stick the dinosaur in there. I'm sorry. I just think it's hilarious looking. But I'm going to shut this video down here and call it for tonight. Get to bed. It's currently 1.20 a.m. Uh, I am freaking beat. I'm tired. I'm going to go pop a couple, and uh, not a couple, just one antihistamine. Yeah, I did that last night, and that's why I woke up today just feeling super groggy, because these things here will just, they just floor you. Like, they just, they're the kind you take before you go to bed, because once you take them, the only option is to go to bed. You know what I mean? So on that note, people, uh, I'm going to set that mic up maybe tomorrow or Thursday or something. Like I said, I want to set it up on this desk here, use it for my production, and possibly other things involving stuff and junk. But yeah, that's what I want to do. So that's what's going to get did. Like the video. I already asked you in the beginning. If you didn't click the like button, then give it a clickety-clack now. Any questions, comments, concerns, down below they go. I still got a comment on today's vlog. Probably going to do that while this is rendering. I said that yesterday, but it didn't happen until today. Uh, what else is there? Don't forget to subscribe, people. And if you're going to subscribe, might as well ring that bell so you get a notification. Come check out the videos daily, every day, 9 a.m. Going to keep her going as long as I can. Uh, comments, subscribe, like. Favoriting is no longer a thing. It hasn't been a thing since 19 Fish and Chips, so that's a solid. But until next time, people. Stay frosty and keep on vlogging.